I would feel at this point, uh, Monday morning, somebody called and uh, asked me a question about this particular issue, I probably wouldn't be much help, um, depending on what the question might be, of course. But, um, and, um, well, I'll, I'll offer you something to say. All right. Well, it, it, it was it was the sense of the board. I made the motion, and I made the motion because we have a uh, quite a bit of money and nothing to really spend it on. We don't have any infrastructure. We do not really have an operating water or sewer district. We have no infrastructure. We are not a utility. And so far, I agree. And it seems and it seems to me that collecting money for a utility when you have no infrastructure. Uh, from actually the rate payers, okay, is uh, not really an appropriate thing to do. And I think that a public meeting to discuss this, that uh, infrastructure has been turned out twice in this district. Mm -hmm. It's not likely to ever be approved. And uh, in the event of a sewer, uh, I don't really think there's any place where you can actually put a sewer, an operating sewer system at this point. Uh, by uh, a variety of environmental concerns sure. and regulations. Okay. So it just seems to me that uh, by statute we have to uh, notify the public and have a hearing before we change any rates. And that's what this is designed to do. And uh, because we have no infrastructure, we have no real essential purpose uh, as, as a utility. It's probably time to change the rates and get the discussion. Mm -hmm. and, and, and if I can interject just my two cents worth, um, this is this is the public's opportunity to speak on their behalf within the district mm -hmm. and get more of a feeling of what everybody wants. It's, I'm with the assumption that 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 they. Very few people that want to continue to spend money on something they don't have and they're never going to have. Uh, yeah, I, I see that. And I guess I'll go back to uh, an earlier statement that uh, Matt had made um, about um, you know looking at the um, Montana codes um, on this and um, stating that without a facility. Uh, we're not, um, it's not appropriate to, you know, collect fees. Was that basically what you stated? But, yeah, that's, that's my, my opinion. There's not necessarily a fact in law, mm -hmm. but it, it sure is, I think, uh, the, the right thing mm -hmm. to look at. And, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I, I guess to, um, you know, throw another issue out on that that I've been uh, concerned with, you know, for quite some time is the fact that uh, we all know that a lot of water comes out of the water table here to private wells and so forth, and a lot of water goes back in to the water table here via the, uh, you know, exit from um, various kinds of uh, private sewer systems. And, um, that interface is always a question and um, can be uh, maintained at infinitum if uh, the desire is there to do so or it can be spoiled uh, fairly quickly. And in this particular case, um, we're okay at the moment. We don't know for how long. Uh, we don't know where perturbation might come from. Um, and it was Part of my, um, you no, know, I guess desire may not have been any, any more than that would be <coughs> to um, define um, a goal to adapt, modify, improve, change, whatever word you might want to use. You know, some of the existing systems to um, be the best they can be to. Uh, you know, keeps a problem from occurring um, as long as you possibly do that. And um, to do that, you would need 
some funds in various ways to um, have that happen. And that, that in a nutshell is kind of well, the basis of some of my things. Well, Mr. Chairman, I think while you may have some valuable concerns, I don't think the purpose of the water sewer district, uh, which is essentially a utility uh, operation, has any place in trying to regulate private property. Every one of the septic systems that we've got, every one of the wells that we've got within this district have been paid for by individuals mm -hmm. as private property. Absolutely. And there's, there's nothing in uh, what we're doing as a sewer board uh, that relates to that. We have, we have no authority to be dealing with that. The interface that you're talking about, that's under the purview of the county health department sanitarium and all that stuff, you know, the way that they regulate uh, septics and wells. If the people of Florence want to adopt a water quality district or something like that, or the county decides to go and uh, become more involved in this issue of groundwater, that may be appropriate. We'll see what happens with the vote, the politics of that, etc. Mm -hmm. But in our role, this district has already decided they didn't want the sewer system. Mm -hmm. They were more or less happy with what they've got and uh, gave the physical manifestation of showing that uh, they were going to deal with what they had and they're not interested in having a public service system. So, and I, and I guess I don't want to be. Uh, mistaken on that. I don't know and that we would ever have a need to actually spend public funds on private ground uh, even though we um, may have attempted to do that in the past. I, I think we can do better and be more responsible than that uh, in the future by I guess let's just say putting some parameters on the kinds of systems that would be appropriate here um, and over time when systems are upgraded, replaced, uh, or whatever we um, would uh, have our um, uh, we have a stay out there, an opportunity for people to Mr. Chairman, uh, uh, can I interject? I, I applied to be on this board, I don't know how many years ago, probably 15. I've been here since 1980, and presently I have three engineered systems for multi-family homes, mm -hmm. and probably 11 wells within the district. And I was told quite bluntly by the board at that time they didn't want me on because I had too much to gain by having a sewer within the district, <laughs> which I feel very much like you do, that someday that has to happen. But the entity that I understand this is, is not the means nor the, the way to do that. And as this entity, we would not be able to circumvent the county sanitary and the health department nor the state. So to have some of the money that I paid into this test pump somebody's buddy's sewer system to see if it works or check their well, I'm opposed to that. Mm -hmm. I, I think that money was to go towards the facility and the operation of the facility and overseeing the facility. And since, in my opinion, that's not going to happen in a while, uh, I think that we have a a responsibility of every citizen who's ever paid a dollar into this uh, fund to uh, number one hold the hold the public meeting, find out if the state that if the, if the uh, feeling is still there within the community, they don't want it not to have it, then just do away. Yeah, and I and I don't disagree, um, and I you know I appreciate uh, Matt's comments. Uh, the fact that uh, um, 
we're likely a board and entity that's uh, outlived its usefulness, maybe. <laughs> well, um, you know, from that perspective, and maybe if there was going to be something like this or a group of people to lead discussion in the community on water quality, maybe that has to evolve. I, I agree. agree. And and that, I think that's that's what, 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 right? what, I'm, what I'm saying is that eventually, if, if you look at what's going on over Valley County, Western Whatever issues there are about water and water quality have got to be solved at least at the county level. Yes. And, and, and or probably within the drainage systems themselves. Okay. And those uh, facilities, uh, all, all that's going to have to be taken care of by an entity far larger than this board. And I've advocated that for some time, and just to interject, I, uh, I guess I've had a lot of people asking about a water, you know, a uh, sewer for the Florence County Water and Sewer District, saying, I am. I was under the impression that the question we were discussing was what you would say. Well, I, I, I'm, trying to, uh, Excuse me, I'm but trying to bring that together. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I, well, I understand. You, you know, if you think it's do more, you? It, well, yeah, if it's more finite than uh, okay. what I'm thinking it probably is, maybe I need to get a briefing paper. My from point that. is, it's been decided to have the hearing. Absolutely. What will be discussed? Mm -hmm. Where? When? What time? Okay. Mm -hmm. We're not going to change that. My point I was going to make is you as president answering the phone with a question must not share your personal Well, I understand. Opinion. Well, I see, that's why I asked the question, because I know that you folks have well, I think the question you know, this around some, and yeah. I understand completely um, where Matt's coming from. And well, why don't you ask coming. Matt if he would get together with you that week before the meeting and just have a short little I, I, I mean... Essentially, essentially, what I'm suggesting is that you just, whoever calls it, tell them that it was the decision of the board to hold this public meeting mm -hmm. to talk about the finances and, and reducing uh, you know, the rates reducing and, have, and, and it's required that we have this public meeting. Um, but you know, we're both there. And I, and I, um, Really yeah, you know, I, I've done enough of this over the years in different places. I kind of know where it has to go, but it's the after that sometimes um, that they may ask me a question that um, um, I'm unfamiliar with, and I don't want to put them on hold. And here's here's what I'll do on it. If I do get a question like that, I know that um, you know Judy and. Steve and Matt, you, you guys, um, you know, have uh, probably put a lot more thought into the other side of this issue than I have. And I'll ask them if I can get back with them and uh, discuss I, the question and we'll go from there. I don't know. I just think that invite them to the meeting. And let them ask, talk. Let them ask the questions, Perfect. visit amongst each other, and, 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 then, and then as a board, we're going to have to go from that meeting forward, whatever comes out of that meeting. Okay. At, 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 until then, it's just a crapshoot on what everybody yeah. thinks. I'm uh, perfectly agreeable with uh, going, to, going the way that people want us to go, because that's, that's the only, uh, only way you're ever going to get anything done. Well, I we think bet. we can quote Mike, we'll be there listen. Harry. Oh, sure. So, and this is far enough ahead of the meeting that it probably isn't going to be engraved by December 9th. What's further discussed tonight, and we're just, it's getting late. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. And you've got a big day tomorrow, and, and some of the rest of us do too, but yeah, and that's good. I, I just appreciate this little piece of discussion because it sort of brings me up to speed with a couple of months of uh, activities that have gone on that I haven't. Uh, I haven't had any information on, and, uh, and I, I agree. And um, I think we're we're probably in uh, the same pamphlet. We might not be on the same page, but we're we're close. Ray, what is your phone number? Two seven three seventy seven eight seven seven eight zero. I've got it on the Okay. okay.
Okay, so uh, to get back now, does this paperwork need to be signed today or no? Or it not? needs to be approved. If you want to change wording or do whatever, it needs to be done now. The resolutions? No, the, the letter draft. to the people, the mm -hmm. because. Uh, Margie may have to get signatures while I'm gone before she starts making the copies of it because it will take about 265 copies to have enough in case one gets whatever. So. You've got a mail be out every pre-order. Well, it won't take long to put the labels on. The longest we'll be holding them and stuffing them. And I, I guess uh, I'm uh, okay with all of it except for one sentence, um, and that's underneath the day, location, and time. Topic will be the annual assessment. Um, when it began, why it began, what it has been used for in the past, and what it is being used for now. Um, that seems um, a little pointed, I guess you would say. Um, the first part of that, when it began, why it was begun. Um, and I guess we did, um, well, we did use some of it for, uh, you know, providing uh, assistance in, uh, you know, pumping set septic and, um, as far as I know, it's not being used for anything right now. Correct. That's why it's in what it's being used for now. No. Yeah. Yeah. That's well, yeah. I, I just that's I wanted to clarify that because yeah. I wasn't wasn't sure there yeah, was something we know that I missed. Not, yeah. Okay. And, and, well, okay with that. Hey, and the engineer when it first started, you know all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Didn't go to the engineer. No, to the board to run the board. Yeah. Some of the very first money. There's donations that went to the MSU to start the study to reenact the board. The state did that. Mm -hmm. The NRC. The NRC. They did yeah. one for Florence and one for Sealy Lake. Loans of them. Yes. Yeah. Well, Butte. Butte did. The cost so, yeah. Okay, well, I, I guess I just want to make sure that uh, I was reading, reading the background on that, so I'm okay. And then we'll put the balance of the checking on the savings. I've got that in there now. Uh, I didn't have to without, without, oh, okay. without the 7000 because that's not in there now. Well, well it, it is in. Okay. I mean. Okay, then if we do that, excuse me for interrupting. So no, that's good. We, that's if great. we do that, we need to amend that, the balance of the checking well, and saving to, and county fund balance. Well, the county in the financial accounts of the district is 22560 because that money's ours, it's in right, our right. Budget. But, it, but, but, but somebody, somebody should, if, if it's questioned and they want to see your checking and savings, yeah. it's going to be off by $7,000. Because the balance is in the financial account. Yeah, just use the, the, the balance yeah. of the district. Right. Yeah. That's right. That balance includes of checking, the, savings, and... Or just the balance yeah. of the district as of... And do the total and be done. So the checking savings. The district. And it is the district. Well, balance no, in the district no, account. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, balance in the district's account are X. Yeah. $22,560.92. And plus a dollar. Plus, plus a dollar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're a dollar short now. Got <laughs> <laughs> a dollar. Right. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I pick up any senior doctors or under. <laughs> Okay, well, that appears to be. Now, is this the second page to this? No, or? that's the newspaper ad that will be oh, okay. in the newspaper. Just put portion in quotes. Now, is the word freeholders, is that, is that an appropriate term? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I never heard it until the Water and Sewer District, and that's how they refer to them. You know, well, that's how the county is in the state and the state I am told you. Well, the annual assessment is 20 or $29, okay. When the assessment was reduced from 29 to 20, it was done without a public hearing, which is against state law. Mm -hmm. So it should be 29. 
should never be changed without proper process. The county's charging 20, but an attorney will tell you it will go back up to 29. Well, I think in that stuff that you got from the assistant district attorney, it said that. Yeah. I'm not. Well, yeah, because you have to have a public hearing yeah. to change your rates and mm -hmm. fees, and that was never done. It was changed. Yeah. Question, Mr. Chairman. Yes. At, at that meeting, because uh, we're not going to have a meeting prior to this, right? I'm sorry. Are we, we are not going to meet prior to this? Prior to the no, December? No. no. Okay. Suggestion, and, and, and I'm going to kind of throw this to Matt. And, and, um, I personally don't feel knowledgeable enough to know about the ins and outs of the 20 and the 29, but I think that those of you that are, have been here before and, and are, are versed in this, be the, be the knowledge person on specific things so that we don't have two or three of us up there mm -hmm. giving a different rendition mm -hmm. at that meeting. This, is there a way, uh, should be a way that just uh, that the meeting you can hand out or assuming we're going to use this room? Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. That we could use this board right here and just put a, a short, so kind of linear history mm -hmm. of just a timeline kind of thing. Yeah, and there's also a great new yeah, some, some things to. Something like that so they can just absolutely. point to it and not. Spend uh, uh, a lot of time discussing the history just no. where people can no, see. Right. But just and listening tonight of the, yeah. of the diverse correct information, but it's like you tell 10 people the same thing in life gets changed down the road. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I don't want that to happen yeah. at this yeah. meeting. Yeah. I think that's a suggestion. That's great. Is, uh, good one. I, I suppose, uh, when are you going to be back from your. Uh, the 30th. November. Okay. A week from tomorrow. So um, we probably need to draft one of the draft a chart, don't we? And, um, well, it isn't anything that it would have to be discussed per se or a decision made on yeah, it. Well, uh, it may be because will you want on it um, or? Um, well, I guess it is. What, what do you? What needs to be on that in order to make it? Uh, Useful. Why don't you appoint a board member to come up? Oh. Well, um, I, I'd ask Matt to do that, but he hasn't been involved in that, and I. Yes, he has. Yeah. He was on the board. He's been he served board. on this district board. Well, would you feel comfortable years. drafting that? I, I could come up with something. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. I'll ask you to do that, then, uh, Matt. And then, then you um, come up with something, and uh, give me a holler, and uh, we'll. Uh, Take a look at it. Peruse it. No. Yeah, I, well, I, I think that's a good idea. Just, yeah, just, just because yeah. and two heads are right. and, and, the other and thing, I'd rather it be worked out. Yeah. The other thing we could do is meeting. make it in a handout also so we can take it or look at it while mm -hmm. we're talking about it. Right, but prior yeah. to that, I think. Well, yeah, prior to the so meeting. That, yeah. So that that meeting becomes the public's input to us, we can listen. And have a, the specific yeah. questions okay, that's taken a, care of. Okay, that was going to be my next question. Um, we sort of all have our expertise as far as, you know, when, why, what, where, all of that. So, is it going to be just the president answering these questions, or is he. Well, I, I would think that. Um, that's what I've meant before. There's a there's multitude of knowledge here, and if, if prior to the meeting, if there's certain things that that, that you're well more versed, like everybody in this room is more versed at it than I am, because I've never sat on the board. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I've just been a meeting member for a long time. But I think that that there's still expertise, and, and particular questions could be could be given from. You know, the okay. president can say, Matt, could you take to that, Judy? Could you take to that, Margie? Do you want to One of the that? reasons I point that out is we had a question at the April meeting and it was answered incorrectly because the woman who asked the question would not let anyone speak with Ray, and Ray was not on the board or around at the time 
the information was. So I just wanted to avoid that. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and if that and if that should happen again at this meeting, then whoever that question refers to can say, I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm not yeah, it would be to better that. to say that than try to answer with yeah. incorrect yeah. information. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a yeah. motion that uh, we adopt the amended uh, draft here and the publication. Uh, mm -hmm. paper. Yeah. Uh, I'll second that. It's been moved and seconded that uh, we adopt a letter that goes out to the district pre-orders and the uh, draft for the uh, newspaper announcement of the meeting on December 9, 2011. All those in favor? Aye. Um, opposed? Motion carried. I do have the meeting room reserved at 6.30. We'll need to come and set it up. Okay. And we can, if it's last minute, to uh, I'll we'll get the board set up for what we're going to do for the math so we'll Okay. Okay. So yeah, you, want us, um, you want us to be here at yeah. 6.30? Yeah, yeah, or well, 6.30. 6.15? Uh, the room is reserved from 6.30 on. Um, I suspect we should probably um, be here a little bit earlier than that. Um, oh. Yeah. Let's just yeah, let's be here. We can come. The board can come at six. If we want to. Yeah. What time does it open? Six thirty. Six thirty. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You know, we don't have another board meeting before December 9th. So. Yeah, it can be. December, that's the 6th. Tuesday's on the 6th. Yeah, it's the 6th. The Tuesday is the 6th. But the meeting the 9th. The 9th, on Friday. Right here. Yeah. So we would have, like, well, you would be here to... Sure. Thank you. And the... What? Ray, you know me? <laughs> yeah, but, I'm but sure. One of the things I guess I'd like to ask, is, would it be appropriate for um, another, maybe even a, a big um, legal recorder or something to actually take notes from that, so relieve uh, you folks from that? or not? Because you, you said you and Margie would be... If we get the name, we have somewhere, mm -hmm. the list. I think if you have, if you have a sign-in sheet mm -hmm. with their address, that, yeah. you know, they have the contact information mm -hmm. and have them do that before... Right, and then them up. we can double-check the recording against the sign-in sheet. Probably have three or four. Make five. sure they live in the district so they don't take all of our time if they yeah. don't live in the district. Right. Yeah, and there will be people here who live out of the district. And I guess if they give their two minutes, it's a thank you and that's it. Okay, and, let me ask this question. Um, mm -hmm. In the definition of freeholder, is that, that includes people who own property here but don't live here? Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Includes many corporations, out of state people. Oh, sure. A lot of yeah, I understand the nature of that. Yeah. I just want to make it's sure. It's just that. the people who own the property. Mm -hmm. No renters. <laughs> they can come. <laughs> but they can vote on a mail levy, which should, yeah, yeah, makes sense. Right, yeah. But okay. that's a whole well, other issue. Uh, there's a uh, minor amount of logistics uh, getting ready for that. I, um, I'll wait to hear from you on uh, you know, kind of the you know, history of what okay. that going on. And then, uh, Judy, when you get back, I guess we need to sit down and have some coffee. I'll be on time next time. <laughs> I forgot last time. Well, I didn't forget. I was I had the wrong time. <laughs> but anyway, we'll we'll, you'll well there is a it. written history of this district that is in the file mm -hmm. from the very beginning. Yeah, well, a lot of people don't know way, the real way history, back. and I have that, and I think it should be handed out. I don't think we need to get up and read it, but I think people no, need right, to have no. it. No, we want to stay away. From I don't that. think you have the same one I do, Ray. Probably not. Um. I, you know, I personally don't have any of that, but I am aware of it going back to the 70s. And I bet I don't have that. I couldn't be cited. Yeah. All right. Enough said. Hmm. Okay. The last thing? Next item, um, well, we got you know, collections due for past charges. Collection of past, excuse me, collection of past due charges. Okay, that's what we just talked about earlier. Do we need to, uh, and I think I heard this, do we need to actually uh, draft a letter to that issue or not? Well, you better pay Paul back for the money we paid. Pat said she wouldn't pay it because the taxpayers paid for the copier that the copies were made on that belonged to the district. Mm -hmm. And Danny Williamson said that copier was bought for board use and Pat was not on the board. So that's the and it took me a long time to make a call. Should find all of them now? All right, I know I haven't I, I haven't plugged it in. Oh yeah, no. Because I know somebody I think it was Lena told me that it needed cartridges or something. Oh, we got all the big cartridges. It yeah. just seems up to me if we have someone as a local government that owes us money and refuses publicly to pay, we either have to make a policy that we're just going to forgive her, or we need to say, okay, you don't have to pay, and we're going to refund. How many, how many other people need a refund? Two. Oh. I mean, just one person, oh. twice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. About uh, 30 bucks, I mean, yeah. roughly. That was Paul's, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, I Jordan, my opinion is to is to send her a past due bill. Mm -hmm. 
if it was the policy of the board at that time that people requested mm -hmm. copies, they were paid for. Mm -hmm. And if she refuses to pay, then we'll cross that road at that time. But at the same time, I'd like to make a motion or put in the bylaws or whatever that that the, the copies that are requested for things that cost this board money, which is not our money, mm -hmm. uh, are provided on the pretense that they're paid for upon receipt. And so the that so that if they want 80 copies, uh, we'll do them. They're laying here. You give me the money. You get the 80 copies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is a resolution. Oh, is, okay. is that a motion? That is a motion. If it's I'll okay. second your motion. Okay. Right. And there is a resolution. I looked through the resolution book to check on just this. And the resolution says that if a local copier is accessible or available, copies shall be made at the price of ten cents each. Mm -hmm. That resolution, I think, we need to revisit and put what you just said in there. And it also indicates that those copies will be furnished in five days. And I don't think that is quite, uh, what if Marge is gone for two weeks? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I don't think that needs to be in there. I really don't. They will be available when the copies are made and upon payment, then they're available. Yeah, here's my suggestion on that. Mm -hmm. I'm aware of the uh, past resolution, and I think uh, this subject, let's uh, resurrect that past resolution, amend it, and uh, take this issue on at the next meeting, mm -hmm. rather than deal with it right now. Because I think we can just amend an existing resolution and uh, be done with it. I'm, I'm amiable to that. And it, just it, as long as it's nothing between now and then gets someone else in the district side. Yeah. The other thing I would like to say, go ahead, you say it. Well, I have a problem. You said that the past two bills. I can't find anything from the bills I sent, the postage, you know. I mean, I, I pay cash for that. They reimburse me. But I can't find the bills. Oh, there's stuff that... Uh, yes. Yeah, Lena said, said at the January meeting, I have the bill, but I don't have it with me at the meeting tonight. That's oh. direct quote. And I can't find the bill. Mm -hmm. Not in the fire. So I can't send mm -hmm. a past due bill because I don't quite know what the past due is now. She paid $10 on the postage, and I think I charged her 20 cents a copy for 80 copies, but I I don't have a bill to look at, so I can't send her a past due bill. Well, um, she has a bill, so I could say, please pay your past due account. That's about the best I could do. Well, I think uh, in this particular case, we probably have to be pretty specific about it in order to get any action at all. I, I can't find a bill where I can well, it. But I was going to say, it's, and we have another um, item that appears not to be here, and you know, maybe Lena still has some more correspondence, and I can ask her. That's all I can do. Okay. I know. And I will. Yeah. Well, apparently she did have it, so. And that's what's happening. Yeah, I, 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 I remember. I remember that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so well, I'll, I'll amend that to, to just. Send the past. Well. About the pod, just forget the past due bill? No, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just saying that if our chairman thinks he can get the bill from Lena, mm -hmm. We really can't dummy up a bill and send us a pass to bill. I wouldn't attempt to. And I would not attempt to do that. Yeah. Uh -huh. No matter who it was. No. No, no. Right. no, no. So let me rescind my motion and just uh, see if, our, if you can come up with the bill from Lena, mm -hmm. any other correspondence from Lena, so we can mm -hmm. get this little dab squared away. Yeah, and I'll, I'll do that. Okay. And then I was sure I had all of that. But and, and then I agree. Put the amendment to the resolution on, the on the next month's no, meeting. On the next month's so that's a good yeah. idea. Yeah. It's been amended mm -hmm. yeah, six yeah. or eight. Maybe we just want to do a new one. We can be tried next. All right. Week. Let's. Um, so we did the signatures on the checking gallery. Right? Yeah. Okay, we're taking care of that. New business annual financial report. Um, Past due, that was uh, 
discussion that we had earlier yeah. from the state. And um, we have the paperwork and it will be uh, noted on Or there. I'll send it to them that we'll have it by December 15th. Yeah, right. right. And that's, um, that's what I was going to say. We have the information. We discussed that already. Is there any other um, comment on that? Uh, I think we pretty well take that. On. Okay, um, there's an asterisk on uh, records of 2011. It's the second page of your agenda. That's why we asked this. to say partial list of items needed. That's what we came up with is we tried to set up, start the 2011 record, um, the correspondence from April, response to that correspondence, PAC, bill. <laughs> Uh, minutes of January and February, we will just mark those as not available. Therefore, whatever happens if those meetings didn't happen. Uh, we don't have the resignations from Danny or Lila. Um, we don't know if any requests have gone to the county for tax funds. If, if the board directed Lena to call tax right, we don't know whether they've been requested again. So that was about. But that's what Marty's doing. Gonna, yeah, she's going to do that, but you know, in the I, file, there's no I, record. Like I said before, I'll, uh, I, I just don't think that I have anything, but I may. I, my well, wife will probably tell you, you'll never know what you'll find in your office mm -hmm. if you look. Well, in the name <laughs> of the resolutions for January and March, they're not available uh, in active board. Because some of this has got to be accounted for in our record set. Mm -hmm. As a legal government, we can't local government. So, and then the paperwork for the annual report, we're going to take care of that. We can get the forms sure. online. And, I, so. and um, yeah. I'll take a look at what I have, but I was pretty sure I gathered that all up and um, provided it to. Um, Margie, when uh, she picked up the rest of this stuff, mm -hmm. it, it, wasn't in the box. No, it wasn't in the box because everything I got the second day was just was outside in the garage. Yeah, it was, yeah, all, and all stacked uh -huh. up there. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and that that was put there and never touched by human hands that I'm aware of yeah. until we took, until you know, picked it up and put it in your car. Yeah. yeah, but you know that night of the meeting, the last meeting you were at, you had a big you had a bunch, a big folder like thing. Pat wow. stuff came in a big envelope that was, what was it marked on the outside? She mailed it that day and told the post office she had to get it that day. Pat stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. Pat stuff. Oh, and well. Lena says, I've never seen anything. I don't I'm have not, any of that right. I'm not sure what Pat stuff is. Did we? Well, it was two letters to the board, and, you know, we didn't ever have them. To see what no. she said to the board. Oh, you're talking about the bill that she sent? Or no, I'm not talking about the letter she wrote where she said, I said there were 10,000 copies on the district copy machine in March. And I need those that have my name in them because for future legal action possibilities, I need all these things she said mm -hmm. about me. I mean, I really do. So, Okay, now guys, you got papers on the table that need signatures, and I need them back. I think we need to answer in a minute okay, the resolutions that you guys have signed. Yes, I agree with that. Okay, so, let's. Uh, but but before we go back to that on this, these items that need to be found in the records. Mm -hmm. Which ones are we going to take care of, and which ones are taken mm -hmm. care of? We just read through them. We do not have that correspondence or the response to it or pass on it. For, and that's Those three we don't have. The, the so number that one. correspondence from Pat, is that what? This is April 11th meeting, April of 2011 meeting. What is that? Is that the Pat's The correspondence, no, that was two from Pat, one from John Cornish, and one from Lena, and I don't think okay. they should be lost. I think okay, they should so, be. Okay, so, so what are we, is that Ray's going to look for. Okay, so do you. Because he's the only one that has. Right, but, yeah. but specific okay. for my notes, there was two from Pat. Right, one from Lena. One Lena. One John, John Cornish. Cornish. I'm like. One John Cornish. I'm specifically aware of the one from Lena and John because I. And I know those were around, but I... Okay. So we, uh, 
Our chairman's going to take a look for those. I'll look for those. And response to the correspondence. We Ray said he didn't think he wrote the correspondence. He doesn't remember writing. So as far as a response to that. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So that's, that's just just not adding, available. Adding. Okay. Mm -hmm. Unpaid statement. We addressed that. Well, yeah. We, we got to find it. Yeah. 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 And Our chairman's going to try I'll to take care of that. I'll look for that. The minutes from January, February, March, non existent, so it's just me. gone. Okay, the resignation letters from Danny Williams and then Lena. Should probably be permanent minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and where did they, were they other than the. Ray read. Yeah, I, I read those at the. Uh, we well, didn't read Lena. No, did because you haven't. Have have oh, that's right. They just read in the newspapers. Is, and to the county commissioners and all, but. Yeah. But do we have copies of that? How do we how do we get copies? What of the newspaper? Why? Well, do, do we need that? No, no, we need oh, no. Because we really had it on the agenda last month okay. to read it, and okay. it didn't come. Yeah. And it wasn't there. So, so you think and I, still have didn't it? I? Uh, no, again, um, I didn't uh, find it. I thought that I gave uh, a small package of stuff to Margie before that meeting. Uh, you might you double did check me a box, Ray, and it had the checkbook and a bunch of unopened mail. Mm -hmm. That was it, and that was it. So if, if so, and this was in it too. This was in that box and too, was, and, and then all the mail okay. on top. And we all opened the mail. Right. right. Yeah, I understand yeah. that. I, that's what I ask you. Yeah. So my my question is, if this is uh, if Ray doesn't have this stuff, what do we do? Make that's no and a sheet in the minutes. Okay. That this information has been. Misplaced, lost, whatever word you want to use, but it needs to be recorded, even if it's on just a sheet of paper. Right, or something. I agree, I, and, I, and that's why I tried to. Yeah, try to I, I may have uh, Lena's letter because she sent me, uh, I guess you'd call it a personal copy of that letter, so I might have that, but Danny's. Um, Probably. Lena would have had, yeah. Lena yeah. Would have had that too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. then the copies of the request for the tax funds, I guess it doesn't matter. But no. you don't have to put that in all my That's resolutions for January and March are moot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Paperwork for annual financial reports, That's Margie That's and Judy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> M and J. Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you. I just You're wanted welcome. to well, know That's fine. That's great. who's doing what mm -hmm. when it gets done. Absolutely. Okay. <coughs> okay, you uh, mentioned that there were some things floating on the table, Margie, that needed to be signed. Yeah, the, well, I think I got them all back, the resolution. I think I got in the minutes. I think I got everything back. But okay. I think we need to read those resolutions or at least the title to them so they're in the minutes, right? Four or five of them. You there were six of them. There were six. Well, um, the suggestion, um, Judy, would uh, you care to take on that honor to read? Oh, sure. Okay, let's sure. Resolution 11 1 was the resolution to adopt the budget. That was in April. Mm -hmm. You don't. Sorry, is Margie writing this down? I've got it. She's oh, got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Mm -hmm. uh, resolution 11-3, a resolution to set meeting date and to, oh, I'm sorry, two, I, for, I skipped two, I didn't have one. Okay, two is a resolution to seat new board members by acclamation. That mm -hmm. was in September. Yep. Okay. Signed by Judy and Margie. A resolution to set meeting date to no, and to notify president, resolution 11-3, mm -hmm. that was also September. Mm -hmm. Resolution number 11-4, a resolution to elect officers, that was October. Um, resolution 11-5, a resolution to update fiscal policies, that was October, obtained the signatures on the check. Mm -hmm. Resolution 11-6 is the resolution to hold a public hearing concerning the tax on the parcels of land in the district, and that was also October. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I pulled out a pen, but I forgot Thank you, uh, Dean. Um, Duly read, um, is there a, a motion to adopt these resolutions? Well, they've already been adopted. Well, do we need to do it since we're all familiar with it now and we're all here? Well, 
they've been adopted at the previous yeah, meeting. So at the previous time. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Probably right. I, I guess. Uh, Probably doing that for my own education. Well, unless we wanted to just put it in the minutes if they were signed. Well, and yeah, read but we don't the have minutes, to do it. Signed read into the just minutes at this meeting. At, at this meeting, yes. This would be the record for. Okay. I think she's got that highlighted by who? Well, this is president. <laughs> and here he is right here. Well, okay. okay, is there any other issues to come before the the board? I move we adjourn. It's been moved to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. Oh, you made a motion. Second. Motion carried. <laughs> I see there's one spot left here. Would you guys look at this and see why she has a yellow mark there? Let's see. Please. Is it okay. signature or something? I think so. Yeah. Okay.